This wooden part of my coop is 10 by 10. I recommend this size coop for anybody that knows they love chickens and just plans on having fresh eggs for several years to come. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. Um, idea of the size of my coop. It looks pretty big. It's 10 by 40. And the reason I want you to get a sense of the size is one of the biggest, biggest mistakes people make in keeping chickens problem free is they overcrowd the coops. This coop comfortably holds only eight to nine chickens. That's it. The reason you don't want to overcrowd your coop is they will start getting disease and problems. If you keep eight or nine chickens in a coop this size, 10 by 40, you will never have to give them medication. You won't have problems with any disease. No problems. I never give my chickens medication. The only thing I do is worm them. And they just lay, 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 lay. For years and years and years, the same hens. I don't have any problems. They don't ever get irritated with each other because there's plenty of room. When you overcrowd them, there's countless problems that start. They pick on each other because there's not room to get away from each other if they don't like each other. So they're chasing and problems and stress. Disease starts to happen. Stress makes their immune systems go down. Then they start catching stuff and it just snowballs from there. So the number one thing you can do to have healthy chickens, organic chickens, is do not overcrowd your coop. Have a big spacious coop, and really this size coop could practically fit in anybody's yard, even if you lived in the suburbs. This, you know, 10 by 40 is not that big. And then you will, you will just be thrilled with all the fresh eggs you get for years and years and years. And it's so much fun and so wonderful. We love our hens. You want your perches really, really good and sturdy because the hens are kind of chubby after a while and they do wiggle around a lot. So you don't want them wiggly, flimsy. You want really, really sturdy, good perches for your hens. And it'll last, you know, a long, 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 long time. So that's the key. You know, you want it problem free so you can go on to do other things on your homestead and not have to keep rebuilding perches or rebuilding coops. The way I attached my perches to the wall is I cut two short pieces of two by fours and then I just position, position them in a V formation on another board right here. And then I attach this whole thing to the coop wall. And then the perch that I measure the exact length just fits down in the V. And then if you want to do extra security like we do, we go to the outside and drive a screw into the perch that way to hold it steady. And if you make a mistake like I did and you cut the perch too short, this is a curved one, so it was a little tricky to cut it. I just added this extra piece underneath to make sure it didn't fall out of the V. We only have nine hens, so some people might think having these two 10 foot long perches is overkill. But if you want to have a happy, stress free coop, you have to give them plenty of room to spread out. There's always a few chickens in every group that just don't like each other. You know, it's like people. There's some you get along with, some you don't. So you have to have plenty of room so there's room to separate if they don't like each other. And they'll find their spots on here and then you won't have any problems or any trouble in your coop. Sign up for Becky's Homestead newsletter. Go to Becky'sHomestead.com and sign up on the right. You'll get articles, news, and specials from Becky every month. Unsubscribe anytime, no spam. If you like this video, click the like button. It really does help us a lot. And if you want to be notified every time we post a new video, click the subscribe button. Are you going to do some shopping on Amazon? Start by going through our link to get there. You don't pay one penny more, but we get a small percentage. The Amazon link is on the top right of Becky'sHomestead.com. Thanks so much.